and welcome to Spin Tires Mod Runner. Now this is a game that I really wasn't planning on doing a video on because I kind of like to do videos on uh, you know challenges that I set myself. I don't really like to do the game sort of missions, but I found something that I could do, and that is just in single player, sort of free roaming around, free roaming around, going. And I found this sort of volcano that I'm going to challenge myself to climb up. Uh, so I've given myself three sort of starting vehicles. This little Land Rover thingy here. Uh, I don't know quite what this is. It's like a rear-wheel drive pickup truck, whatever it is, and an armored truck uh, over there. So this should be interesting. So as I said at the beginning, I don't really like doing videos on sort of what the game tells you to do. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with playing like the game's missions and stuff off camera, it's just uh, for videos I prefer uh, you know, just setting myself challenges and, and doing them and well as you can see here I'm trying to actually get to the volcano itself and I roll over the Land Rover so that wasn't my best achievement if I'm honest <laughs> but I eventually got it back on its wheels and I was on my way again and I found myself on this rather uh, bumpy path coming up to a river uh, that you've seen in a second, that I thought really wasn't going to be that deep or too much of a problem, so I just drive onto it at full speed, and that happens. I go into it and fall over and get taken by the current, and just things aren't going very well. So then, after I kind of stupidly drove into the river, it sort of just floated down, and really I thought that was going to be the end of this until I found a sort of digger thing that I could uh, try and winch it out, but even then I thought this will get very, very damaged. I pulled it uh, until it was the right way up and attempted to drive it out, uh, so I switched to it, and actually fairly successfully reversed it onto dry land, and uh, yeah, got it, out of, got it out of the river. So then I actually got to the volcano and I waited for it to be daytime and that just revealed kind of what my challenge, main challenge was going to be and that was just getting up to the volcano and really there was only two main paths that I was going to try and go up, uh, the river one that I was at and this one here uh, just by the block post but I was going to try the uh, river one first and see how that was going to work out. So thanks to past experiences I didn't exactly want to play around with this river that much because it looked like it was flowing pretty fast, but I just kind of got across it at a fairly shallow point. But it looked like it was sort of more deep at the top, so I didn't exactly want to play around with it there. I So I decided for my first route just to go, like, point the car at the top, the easiest way that I found, and just try and go up, uh, sort of that way. Uh, but that didn't exactly go that well for me, as I tried to turn left, and it kind of just flipped onto its side. So it seemed that yet another rescue mission was in order, so I got the digger up to where the car was and it kind of, well, cartwheel, cartwheeled down the uh, down the mountain to where the digger was uh, and up, up, up against it, so I kind of just reversed it and then that got it back on its wheels quite successfully um, without rolling into the river gladly. And then I just got back into uh, the little Land Rover and, well, carried back up the hill as it was. So at this point I kind of got to where I was, I, I was trying to go for a different route sort of up the side and I rolled it once again, but this time I was sort of sliding down, I tried to start the engine as I got onto my wheels again, but it just kept rolling down and came to a rest once again, pretty much where I just, well not pretty much where I just rolled, but still it was on its side, which <laughs> isn't ideal. Basically what I tried to do was slightly go to the right of where I tried to go last time and it kind of slid down again. So. Uh, it was time for the digger to come to the rescue once again, uh, get the winch out and pull it down the uh, pull it down the hill to safety. So I was just pulling the car down, attempting it, uh, attempting to get it onto its wheels. It kind of went over a rock, bounced and fell down, and then the digger flipped onto its side. So once again, that isn't exactly my best achievement in this video. So then I sort of found this uh, little truck, it had fuel in the back, so I guess that was helpful for, uh, that'd be helpful for refueling things. 
and then like the third or fourth rescue miss uh, rescue mission in this video began as I just well crashed into the digger, but that in turn then uh, flipped the little. I don't, I don't think it's a Land Rover. It's like uh, like I think this game's based in Russia, as I just uh, refill it there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game is based in Russia, and they're all sort of like Russian-based vehicles. And I think it's sort of like a Russian Land Rover. I, I know I said Russian a lot there. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's not exactly a Land Rover, but that's what I'm just kind of calling it. And then I, uh, yeah, refilled it, repaired it, and uh, I was back on my way up the hill again. So I then sort of made my way towards the top, and I decided I was going to try and maybe play around in the river, sort of try and go up that way. But before I even got there, I tipped onto its side once again, started to slide down, went into the river, and then completely killed it. As you can see, the damage is completely all in the red there, so yeah. So it was then time for the rather damaged but still kind of half working uh, truck to to go and repair the Land Rover thing. It, it did repair it but not fully, as you can see here I'm trying to get it up. <coughs> it does have a lot of damage though, I'm trying to go up the same way uh, that I've had problems with. I just, I'm just i so close to getting up to the top, I turn right and then I roll down the hill, I do a couple of rolls and then get it completely wedged. Uh, under a rock, so that didn't go that well. But just as I was about to stop filming this video, you may remember near the beginning of the video I said that there was two routes that were going to go up at this one and the uh, or the one at the river and this one by the block post. This is the one that I'm going up just by the block post. I basically taken the armored truck that I'd left at the beginning in the at the garage. And it was doing pretty well so far, it was getting up near the top. So at this point I was getting incredibly near the top, as you can see I'm just trying to grab for traction in this uh, six wheeler. I just sort of wiggle the wheels to try and just push it up that last little bit. And then eventually it climbs up that last little ledge and we get to the top of the volcano. So yeah, we eventually did it in the end. So yeah, just to prove that we did get uh, to the top, for anyone that doesn't believe we did get to the top, there is the little icon on the top, there is all the abandoned vehicles that we slightly may have destroyed and rolled, and there is the path that we took uh, that we took up that little white path there. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure if we will do any more Spin Tires Mudrunner videos, I mean if you do want any more make sure to like this video and maybe comment down below, uh, but there was really only one way I could end off this video and that was to slide the armoured truck down the other side of the mountain, down the river that I had attempted to climb up uh, with the other three vehicles, well, the one vehicle, but it took three vehicles to try and do it, and it splashed down, but amazingly didn't kill it, and it survived, so uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're already to my channel, but until the next video, goodbye.